Okay, so today um, I'm going to carry on with what I said I would finish last time, and that's to refine uh, the render graph more. Specifically, the how image layouts are dealt and the image layout changes. Because currently, if I go back to this, yes, it's still here. I'm doing that all manually from outside of the render graph, right? So when I import the image, I'm saying what format it is. That's fine, right? I mean, that's information that you need to know. But then for, let's say, the render scene job, I'm, I'm, or I'm rather than having like that information be carried through automatically to the render scene job and saying, you know, this is the input image type or the, the, the layout, I'm actually manually specifying. So I, as a user, have to keep a hot manage this say I know that this will be coming in like this and then it will be going out like this to go in like this to go out like and so on and so forth I'm doing all of this manually and I, there's some jobs that I'm using such as I believe the export image perhaps where I'm assuming that it is a certain type perhaps no was it that or is it this Yes, here we go. The present swap chain image render job. This assumes, if I go to the declaration, that the V image is in a present source. It assumes automatically, like there's, it has to be it. So what I want to do is I want to actually try to start, because this is not just going to apply to images. I also need to manage, not necessarily fully explicitly, what formats or like read and write states of other resources, buffers, and that later as well. So that I need to get it done at least for images, so I have a basis for expanding upon it. So, with that said, to begin with, what I'm thinking of doing is that much like uh, the, the render graph resource, this small two-pointer thing that is passed around, first of all, this needs to be const. When I'm passing this around, this is this these should be const. Like that. Uh, so let's make sure that's not going to break anything first First off, which it is because I'm doing a number of, yeah. I need to make sure that that's good like that. Uh huh. Render graph job with L value of a const version. Con Whoa. So this resource is const. Yeah, that makes sense. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's this? Oh, yeah, yeah. In resources. Yeah. Provider, consumer. These are, of course, after I've already built them up, these will be, yeah, these these should be const. Yeah, that, this makes sense. All uh, right. Oop, const, like that, read only. Okay, j j just back up, back up, back up. Let's just say instead, oh no, it can't be const because that's going to possibly change as well. So, let's just say those three things are const. So, uh, where was it? Render graph relationship. That, that that and that okay so we go down here we add const mm -hmm. where is this
What's going on here? Double ended Q. Cannot initialize a new value of render graph job star with the value of that. But at what point? That's a header. That's a header. That's not mine either. So presumably it would be somewhere in here. Okay. Do I have like an in place back or something going on in here? Hmm. Okay, let's get rid of the consts here then. Instead, I'll go back to just saying, hey, you know, it's a uh, Have this render graph job like that instead, yeah. Got that, and we'll do in resource p resource. So render graph resource base. I think that's what it is. Yeah. Okay, uh, there was a few too many items being changed around there. Anyways, what I was going to do was this, where we have that, we have that. I need a new type. Let's just call it like um, resource state base for the moment. Which of course has the first two things, which are this again. And I need a new type, which is structure type image state. So what I'm going to do is on image, new type, which is basically the same as this. image state and it's going to have vk image layout layout plus do i want like bool read only i think i need read only so <laughs> Do I really need to read only? I don't I don't know. Anyways, I'll figure that out later. So you have this, which is this const star p state. What's going to happen is that this render graph resource, when it's provided to the next job in line, it's of course going to have where this resource came from, the the resource data itself, or pointers to them anyways, and a pointer to the state of this resource at the end of this provider job. So that'll take care of like me, for most cases, I'll be able to implicitly figure out like okay it, it came at, from this job in this state and then I'll make modifications and then at the end it's going to be this state whatever I throw out afterwards that's the idea so let's say 
one of the first ones is that I'm importing an image. I import the image. Uh, no, import image. Here we go. So we have this stuff. What we're going to do is we're going to have another type. So. P image state it's going to equal this where s type equals render graph image state p next null dot layout equals Um, whatever it came in as. So this is the, the layout thing that I haven't used yet. Layout equals that and dot read only equals not is mutable. So it equals true. Mm-hmm. I think I think yeah p state equals So we're going to have that. We're also going to have to delete it. So we need a second uh, second one of these. So one. That's one. Two. Close that up. That. So deleting that. We're doing p image state. That doesn't look quite great. Okay, and we've got two calls to delete. We do that. That's uh, while I'm here, turn on at the address sanitizer. So that will be given as part of that. So the next part of the application will be we import both of these. Then we're passing them into render scene job, which is part of the bring up application. So that should allow me to eliminate this and this parameter. And allows me to do certain things like perhaps more in the way of checking resource state I can check the first okay yeah that's something I should have been doing earlier but I can check first of all is it an image is it and does it have the right you know things of is it like the right type of image that I'm uh, that I want that I want to use and um, if I have a requirement such as with presentation that it has to be a certain type I can check that here as well from the state that I pulled in so what this is going to become is hmm. P color target. And 
image resource const star of that color render target dot p state no p resource data p this would be similar okay i can't i should not be doing this directly I don't know specifically that, that it is, and I don't necessarily know if it's the first thing in the chain. What I need to do is I need some function. Now let's say, let's do it up here. Uh, what type are we bringing in? It's a what? It's a this type. Get out of here, out of here. Ah, uh, where am I? Render scene. Here. Structure type. Yes, type that I'm looking for. And then I just got to go through, like, while p data not equal no pointer. P data. If. S type equals. Return that. That's what we're looking for. P data equals. Next, and I need to cast that. Whoop. Otherwise, we didn't find it. Simple enough. We need to find structure in. I want to find that inside of there. Inside of the depth render target, please. And for them, otherwise, I'll star. I also want to find the state of the image. That I'm, that's what I'm interested in here. Yeah. Yeah. Take const star. Find ah, it's not going to work either because it's a different type. Okay, I need a common base type. I really do. I'm going to cheat and see what Vulcan does. They have something that does this already. So it's like base in and base out structure. So that's what I'm going to do. So, if I, sorry, 
3k graph base in structure and that's that It's going to be replaced in the same way. Like that. <clears throat> and we'll have an out one which doesn't have it as const. Okay, this also needs to change up. smaller okay let's do a bit at a time so we've got that structure type what the hell's going on here Stage that. Stage this. Okay, let me check where else I use it. We'll just do one bit at a time. Just the struct types. Expected more. I guess it doesn't really matter too badly. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, there's only five locations. Okay. Instead, a common base type. Specified. Yeah, that. Okay, <clears throat> then we'll uh, change. I don't, do I, does this really have to be, like I'm wondering if this really has to be public. I mean, does it have to be really? I 
24 nowadays. Ah, whatever. Here's the const. Just kind of do this. We're just going to change that. We're changing this. Oh no, okay. Um yeah, the whole thing. Cons that, blah blah blah, great. that that's not part of this this is however this is a part of it the hell damn it okay you know what I'm just gonna like uh, back up back up I know what I want to do close that up okay we'll start with this we're just changing up um, this First of all, make sure it builds cleanly, right? These are going to become in structure. So that's everything, basically. And this is going to become a const, like that. So that, yes, that's converted, blah, 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 blah. Great, great, great. This is an instructor, great. But technically everything is constant. Okay. Now, is there any? Do I want to like put even more consts all over the place? I think I really should, right? Hmm. Technically, then I'd also want to do an out one. Although I'm not sure for what yet. Okay. 
Okay, let's see if there's any more const stuff I can start slapping in where it would make sense. Mm. Ah, whatever. No, I just leave it like that. I mean, this doesn't really matter, does it? It really doesn't, to my mind. I don't think it does. You know what? No, just scrap that. We'll just go with the basic type. Like that. Kablamo. Kablamo. Simplify. Resource space. Okay. Close all that stuff. Let's get. Uh, let's do the uh, forward motion again. On. What was it? I have the base type, so that means I just have to go over here, and I'm going to do struct for graphics dk graph image state. Is the structure type? I'm not going to add read only until I actually need it. This is a bit overkill, maybe. But It'll work. Okay. And then I need to go back to the render graph. Add that type onto the, this. So this. I need, because they're generic types, I need to actually say like it's a it's resource data, resource state. Last resource state. Resource state at that point. Yeah, that, yeah, that makes sense. That still makes sense. Okay, import image. We have the initial layout we have. Do, do, do. That equals that. That is, I need to add that.
Okay, that is passed on down, back down to the render graph, which would have been here. Render scene, which would have been here, which I'm now missing the uh, type I made. Great. Okay, let's add this here, shall we? kind of have that we'll put it down in here what was it was while p data Oh boy, I'm really having a bad time typing today. It just says I'm not changing it. Okay, we have this again. Now we're back down to here. We're going through with like auto p source uh, sorry color. that and I want this the depth render target thank you and then you need to do something similar for the other for the image state so What I'm doing, P and color render target. This am I? I'm using it somewhere, right? Down here.
I may actually need the in and out types. Mm -hmm. I'm not actually using the data otherwise here. I'm just using this, okay. I'm not entirely sure. like this. This is all being done at runtime. This is maybe a bit more expensive than I was hoping for. It's kind of necessary if I'm going to allow for such a dynamic system. I need to make sure everything is correct. Um, so let's say I have error types. I have a lot of error types that are open to me. Correct. I don't have any here. Error code. Okay. I'm going to add some right about here. Now I can actually check that it's the correct stuff. And I'm sure I can probably figure out a way to make this uh, more like at compile time rather than someday. Okay, about those error codes, I need to add them. Okay, uh, two more items check right now. This is temporary, but I want to see, you know. So I don't even need, I'm not, I don't even want an error code. What I want to do is like if P, first of all, I need to make sure I have these.
if this does not equal the initial color layout or the depth, then I also want a standard abort right here. Okay, so let's have a look at this. Actually, let's not. Let's stop. Hold on. Stop. 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 Actually, no. That would be almost perfect, wouldn't it? Maybe not. I just want to turn off this. So get rid of the XR stuff for now, since that takes a little bit extra time to spin up every time. I just want to make sure that this is going to work on the regular 2D window. Okay, so we're bypassing it just perfectly fine, right? Okay, and then what would be happening, presumably, is that at some point down here, rather than using this, we'd be using this. So at this point, got this here, okay. Then at some point at the end, way back here, we have this. Then we're going to go into the point where we have this stuff, resources out. Now, this is, hmm, because I don't set what the resource out is from this point. It's done here. I need two more types, right? Mm hmm. Yeah. Um, Oh, yeah, this is getting pretty dang heavy. Because I'd have to add more delete calls. I don't have a delete call here, do I? For that. No, I do not. Oh yeah, and this will be two, right? So, hold on. This, as it is, should have been leaking a bunch of stuff, right? Right, I'm not crazy. Okay. 18,600 and something odd bytes from yeah, the read. 24 bytes, import image render job. Yeah, so about here, right? This is the thing I was thinking of. Correct. Good. So if I was to add the second delete right about here,
Okay, then it's just libxcb. That's just yeah. This is going to equal the final layout, correct? Which is actually still passed in. So we'll just say final color layout. Do something similar for depth. Say uh, put resources dot color dot p resource state equals p color state. New color color state. Structures that deleted at the end. Okay, thank you. So I need this going on like this. Right. P new depth. This is just super jank. But if I do that and do this and make sure, check around what's going on with the leaks, the new big leaks, render scene job, yes, from here. because I didn't actually delete the call, which I should have done. Oh, 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 okay. Yeah. Um.
Okay. That's quite a bit better. Okay, so at this point, uh, it's been about an hour, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep, I'm not going to probably not put this on YouTube, but I'm just going to keep doing the same thing, setting up, checking, and then uh, preparing the outgoing states in the other jobs. And then after that, I'll start working on more interesting logic. All right, so to simply to recap, so far, I've just gone through and added to all the jobs anything that takes in a resource it does a check first of all it's doing a check you know is it a, so for example the source image is it an image destination when i'm bleeding or resolving and the destination is it an image and yeah using the image type and is it mutable then i got things like checking the is their state and i have an individual error code for each and every single one of these so that, like, it's super obvious you can pinpoint exactly where the issue is. Since, you know, error codes are just numbers and they're cheap. And a little bit of a string uh, as well. That may be getting a bit more expensive, but I'll take it. And then down towards the bottom, after the job. I mean, the job is still the same. Then you get down to the resource management. You get the new states. The state of the new resources after, at the end of this job. You got calls for deleting. Um, yeah, you got you get call you got calls for deleting the stuff I've allocated here on the heap, and then I add it to the graph, and it fails. Then of course you delete the stuff right away because you know it's not being added to the graph, so it's not actually going to be deleted by the graph. You return. Otherwise, you do the same thing for outgoing resource. And then you add the state, the new, the new final state to that. You return all that stuff, and that's the same thing repeated over and over. Um, there's nothing to output, but there is stuff to check on the input. Here, this is, and I've got checks to make sure that the layout that's provided is the same. That's this. Oh no, no. In the case of the export job, of course, this is saying I'm, I want it to be in this layout once you give it, to give it back to me. So I need to actually do something about that. Hmm, let me add that. Change the desired layout, okay. Import image, let's check. There's nothing being imported, or nothing uh, to check on incoming, but there is the outgoing. Same thing, the original resource, the state, I don't even use this anymore because it's uh, being output there instead. You've got the lead calls, two of them, they're added to the render graph, otherwise they're deleted right away. Presentation image, swap chain, oh that's importing the stuff. I do have resource management, yes. Presenting. Is it a swap chain? Is First of all, yeah, is this swap chain data? Great. Then I check, you know, is it is the previous image state not equal to that? Because I'm assuming it is on the way in. I abort, otherwise, blah, 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 and then return stuff. Oh. So at this point, let's close those. A whole bunch of error codes just added all over the place. Yeah. The time comes to knock out the crutch of the input, the initial uh, layouts of images. So let's begin import image. Yeah, that's to be expected. So for the render scene job, initial color layout goes out. Initial depth layout goes out. Great. Go on down to here, so it's going to be color image state. Put 
those two. Okay, coming back to the application down here. Undefined is gone, undefined is gone. Same thing here. Shrinking it down just a little bit. Actually, I should add all this stuff. Make sure it works. As expected. Okay, then we just do the same thing for the other. So render graph swap chain. That's the layout it came in under. That's fine. Here. Initial layout, final layout. Initial layout goes away. So this, is it even being used? Oh, I already changed it here. Simple enough, nice enough. That image, source layout, destination initial layout, um, desired layout. Change that up. Import image, that's correct. Present image is already assuming it's a specific type, that's fine. Resolve, source image, source destination image. Split, that's gone, that's gone. So, That and that. We've got P destination image state. Okay, do I change anything afterwards? No, that's just changing internally. So I need to do the same thing here on resolve. Or did I already do that? Oh, that's the HPP. On the source side, destination. Okay, and that means I just need to go back to the application. Get rid of that, get rid of that. Get rid of this, get rid of that. Similarly down here, we've got the initial. The initial. The initial and the initial, the initial on the UI,
VR looks good. Okay. Anything crazy in the log? Mm, this is almost all guaranteed to be part of XR stuff. Not being properly cleaned up. This is what is going on. This is performance warnings for Blit. <clears throat> this is probably the XR stuff. I'm pretty happy with that then. Um, the last thing I could probably do is... Hmm. I'm not sure if I should remove the final layout yet. <clears throat> I don't think so. Because what's going to have to happen is I'm going to need some... If I want to remove the final layout, I need to be able to implement some sort of... Uh, job... Compacting, I guess. Where like if one job directly follows another job, and then that's it, then you can maybe merge those two. And then, of course, like being able to either in the prior job or in the source job or the destination job provider or consumer, I need to put the logic for like changing layouts at that point. I'm not sure which yet. Probably as a provider, it would make more sense so that you can split off. You can change the resource to a read-only state and then have like multiple readers or consumers straight after that. That would make more sense. But, have I got what I wanted to do for today? I think I have. Just double check everything. Yeah, a bunch of new things. Mm, this is not great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the error codes. Okay, yeah, I'm happy with this. So I'll just come up with a fancy log message and then I'll just call it a day here, right? Cheers.